changing hydrogen ions, we're talking about an acid in water reacting with a base that's in water. Okay? First of all, you recognize this as a Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reaction. Do you see the proton transfer? HF starts out with a hydrogen ion and ends up without it. The acetate ion starts out without a hydrogen ion and ends up with it. Right? So what are the two bases that are competing for the hydrogen ion? Fluoride. And acetate. And they are competing for the hydrogen ion, aren't they? On this side, the acetate ion is trying to take the hydrogen ion away from the fluoride. On this side, the fluoride is trying to take it away from the acetate. Right? And we're interested in who's going to win more of the time. Can you predict? The fluoride. Mm. Who's the stronger base? Acetate is the stronger base, isn't it? So who's going to win the tug of war most of the time? The acetate. So, are we going to end up with mostly products and not very many reactants? Or mostly reactants and not very many products when we reach equilibrium? Mostly products, because that's where the stronger base ends up with the hydrogen ion. Now here's what that means. That means that this acid-base reaction that I've shown you is what we call spontaneous. A chemical reaction of any kind is spontaneous if we mix the reactants together and most of the reactants become products. That's true of any chemical reaction. But we're focusing here on acid-base reactions, right? Can you see how we can use this table to determine whether a reaction that you're given is spontaneous or not? Identify the two bases that are competing. Your table tells you which one's stronger. You know the stronger base is going to end up with the hydrogen more of the time. Now, which side does that stronger base end up with the hydrogen on? Here, the stronger base was the acetate, so it's going to end up with the hydrogen ion most of the time. And since it's the product, that means most of our reactants are making products. This reaction, on the other hand, would not be spontaneous, huh? What's the relationship between this reaction and this one? Right? We've just reversed sides. Why can we do that? This reaction is legitimate being written either way. Because it can go in both directions. And does go in both directions. Yeah? However, keep in mind that however we write the reaction, the reactants are always on the left and the products are on the right. This is the same chemical reaction. It's going to end up with the same balance of stuff, except that on this side, the acetate ion and the HF are the products. This side, they're the reactants, okay? Because the reactants are always on the left and the products on the right. Bottom line is, if I take a solution of acetic acid and add it to a solution that contains fluoride ions, not a lot happens, right? Because the stronger base already has the hydrogen ion. So we would say this reaction is not spontaneous. What about the one out of ten times that is? One out of ten times, which is why we end up with some of these, but not very many.
How are we doing? The other thing I'll expect you to do is to be able to write a spontaneous acid-base reaction given two bases. Let's try this one. Those are your two bases. Write a spontaneous acid-base reaction that involves those two bases. Let's do a guide. We'll do it as a, as, a, as a guided practice. Which is the stronger base? Which one? So who's going to end up with the hydrogen ion when we're done? Most of it. Most of the time. The NO2. So if we want, if our goal is to get hydrogen ions transferred, who should start with the hydrogen ion to begin with? If the fluorine starts with the hydrogen ion, and we let the nitride ion take it away, that'll happen a lot, won't it? Because this is the stronger base. So what does it make? HNO2. And? F minus. Get it? If all the things that we've said today make sense to you, that's a good sign. You still need practice dealing with this stuff, right? If all of this stuff has made sense to you, that's a good sign. That doesn't mean we're done. Right? Okay, and you'll get some practice. Shifting gears. What's pH? A log of some pH something like really long. Is it? No, it's like a ridiculous long word. Percent hydrogen. No percent. What is pH? A measurement of. How alkaline or basic something is, or how acidic something is, yeah? Here's what it's defined to be. <laughs> Write it down and we'll talk about what it is. Don't get scared. It'll be okay. Here's the thing. Can you take your calculator, put a number in, hit the log key, and then change the sign? That's what that is. Take the base 10 logarithm. Why do I do that? Because there are other bases for logarithms, aren't there? Right? So it is the base 10 logarithm that we're using, as opposed to natural logarithms or logarithms of...